Good to be joined here by several of our UWA women's soccer players and Paige Laidler, Lucy Horn, and Dana Cruz. And ladies, appreciate you joining me today. <laughs> okay, we'll start off with Paige. Just kind of chat about what it's been like. You guys have only been in camp for a few days now, but what is it like being back out here again? It's really good. We've got a lot of new faces, a lot of young faces, so it's really exciting to see what, what we could put together. We've been working hard for the past couple couple of days and um, we've got a few more days left of like pre-season until we get like properly going but yeah no it's, it's looking good it's looking really good I'm excited yeah same here like it's so nice to have like new people around and they're bringing something different to the squads I don't think we've ever had a squad quite like it but yeah it's really exciting and we'll just see what the season holds yeah it's exciting to play um, with a bunch of new people you know since I'm a young one, it's like nice to like see like a bunch of new younger ones like experiencing what I experienced last year. But I'm excited for the new season. Let's go back over to our two captains. Just kind of talk about what it's been like being captains. You know, you guys were captains last year. Just how much did you kind of carry that leadership role, you know, from the previous years and how much will that help you this year? Yeah, so we, it's quite nice. We, we play next to each other. So we have that kind of like bond on the field and off the field. So we have that that kind of position where you can see everything kind of Obviously, apart from the goalkeeper, you can see everything, you can communicate to everyone. And I think together we get along with the whole team. Like we, we like to have that family sense spread across the whole team and everyone, everyone's just just as important and can be as loud as they want to, too. It's not just all, all up to us. So, yeah. Yeah, like I totally agree everything that Paige just said. Um, it's like a pleasure, it's like an honour to like be captain and stuff. But at the same time, there's so many leaders in our team already that we really don't have to do too much of the work. But yeah. <laughs> Back over to Dana and just kind of recap, you know, you get all-conference honors end of last year, you get the start of preseason here to get on the all-conference team. Just kind of what does that mean to you to get those accolades after your first season? Well, it's very exciting. Like, I know there's going to be a lot of competition coming in and stuff, so I'd like to see to try to get competitive within the season and compete against others to hopefully keep that name on my title. We go back over to our two veterans again here. So we go back to back to Paige and Lucy, and just kind of what has it been like now? You guys have been in the program for a number of years. How do you kind of feel? You know, kind of comfortability factor, and also, you know, we got through the COVID year, which you know, of course, was crazy. How do you guys feel now that we've kind of had a year of that? Kind of feel like this year is kind of more normal. How do you kind of feel in the program at this point? It's it's nice to be back to where where we were. I mean, I only had one year until everything kind of went went south, but it's it's nice to be back where we are. Um, in terms of comfortability, I feel, I feel comfortable on this campus and all that. I, it's a great, great place to be. But in terms of the team, like you always got to keep working, got to keep pushing to, to earn your spot on the team. It's not guaranteed to anyone. So, but either way, it's, it's a great place to be, a great team to be involved in. So very grateful. Yeah, definitely. Like I love being back here and back in training again, but like I'm so glad for the new girls as well that they can come in. Like everything's totally back to normal and they can go and out and enjoy it like we both have over the past few years. We bring Dana back in too, you know, being a freshman last year. I mean, kind of what were your expe expectations going in, you know, playing time, what you would see, and then at the end of the result, you know, what you ended up finishing up with? Yeah. Um, well, coming in, I know there was going to be like a lot of girl, older girls last year, so I know the competition was going to be really hard. But I believe like working my way up and like trying to match their level is what really got me going to how I earned my titles and stuff. And last thing for all three of you too, was it like playing for Coach Orr? You know, I always like it. I've been here a week <laughs> week plus now. I always like spending time with him. What is it like playing playing for him? He He always um looks to like get the best out of his players. Like he always has high expectations, but like it then pushes you to like do better. So definitely he like has spurred the team on to improve. Is extremely passionate about yeah. the game, um, and obviously that's important to us because this is what we're here to do. This is what we love to do. So to have a coach that's just as passionate and just he knows all of our like abilities. So he knows that what we can do and what we're capable of. So he like he pushes us to our limits in a good way and makes us the best players he, that we can be. He also like devotes himself to the team. So you yeah. can't really ask any more than that. Like that is his life. So yeah. 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 Yeah, like they said, he cares a lot about us and like I think he has like a lot of faith in us so that's what really pushes us to try and meet his expectations. Yeah. All right, thanks ladies, I really appreciate you stopping by. Great visiting <laughs> with all of you. Looking forward to the season. Perfect, thank, thank you. you. <laughs>